You're gonna have a lot of this sauce cook yeah. and stick to the side. That's the stuff sometimes when I'm cooking, like I sneak a little bit just for myself. Oh yeah. Because that tastes so good on its own. Grab a piece of bread, side of the pot. That's how you stay in shape. <laughs> <laughs> Arjun and Nako of uh, Bad Mosh here in downtown Los Angeles. Yes, yes. Let's talk sacrilege for a minute. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why are you guys in an Indian restaurant cooking beef? It's the best. It's tasty. It's delicious. It's my favorite. It's so meat. good. But this is banned in India. Is That's the beautiful part about Los Angeles because it's not banned oh, in Los <laughs> Angeles. Why is it something that that people in India don't eat? Well, when you're born. You know, you're nourished, you're fed by your mother's milk. The cow becomes your mother, so it's the sacred animal. Too tasty for us to not have here in LA. <laughs> but you treat it well, so. Yeah, very well. So how do you start off with like Indian style beef short rib? Get the pan nice and hot. Let's get some oil in there. So a nice way to check if the oil is ready is just to take a little bit of cumin, one or two seeds, and just drop them in. As you see, they're foaming up a little bit, and that means the oil's ready to go. Let's, let's go for it. Yeah. That side down. That side down. And I just want to massage that in there. Now you can really start to smell the beef flavor coming off of that as you sear that fat. Yeah. I'm just going to flip this over, and we're going to sear it off on e each and every side. Mm -hmm. You see that real caramelization, that yeah. crust. Sexy, uh, I mean, that looks good on its own. I'm ready to eat this on its own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, cool, wrap it up. So this is perfect. I'm gonna keep this aside, we're gonna let it rest, and now we're ready for cinnamon. Now the more surface area you have, the better. You know, and, and now the whole room smells like cinnamon. Yeah. Cumin. So cumin's gonna cook very quickly, and you gotta have your onions within arm's reach. You stop the cooking of the spices by throwing onions or something else in that's gonna cool everything down. You're really letting them brown and developing their flavor too. Yeah, it's not too hot right now. The onions are just gonna cook and cook and cook. Now our onions are nice and dark. We're ready for garlic. Good amount. And this is gonna cook fairly quickly as well. Cause there's so much sugar in there. Yeah. And what is the spice that you have here that you're about to add in? This is turmeric. The golden the spice popular, of India. It's turmeric everything in LA. We have cumin here, and all you need to do is have some at the center of one hand. You use your other hand to kind of press against it, you know, kind of grind it like a mortar and pestle. Pretty good at that. I've done this once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> you made it look real easy. I love, I love that smell. Uh, a little bit of chili powder. So this is nice and hot. This is a North Indian curry that you'd normally have for lamb or for goat, mm -hmm. and we've changed it a little bit to suit the flavor of beef, yeah. as it's a milder uh, flavor. So that's paprika and dried fenugreek. It has a very earthy flavor. Mm -hmm. You wanna choose a wine that's not crazy heavy on tannins, so mm -hmm. stay away from the a Cabernet. You wanna use a Malbec, maybe a Merlot. Just a table wine would work perfectly. Yeah. So this is whole peeled tomatoes that we've pureed. Okay. Now we'll add a little bit of water as we're gonna let this cook. Um, and you're gonna want to add water throughout that whole period. So the beef is back. Drop them in the pool. You can also cover it at this point. Check back every uh, 10 minutes, I would mm -hmm. say. So we're just gonna hang out. Dun, dun, dun. In the four hours we've been standing here. Mm -hmm. Haven't talked or anything. It's been super awkward. Yeah. We've been adding water, we've been reducing, we've been adding water, we've been reducing. You wanna make sure that when you're flipping this over, you're extremely delicate with it. You can even use a burger flipper yeah. to assist you. You know, I'm not finding any big, long pieces of onion. The sauce is good. Mm -hmm. The weight of the meat alone is gonna rip this thing apart. Have a plate ready, and you wanna kind of cradle it on the side and lift that out. And this over here, we're gonna reduce further. Get all that goodness off that side there. It's the best part. How we like to enjoy Indian food is everyone kind of share family style. Get that right over here. You don't wanna go crazy with this sauce. You don't want that meat drowning. I always like to, you know, showcase that big hunk of meat. 
Now we've got some very typical garnishes. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some onion and fresh cilantro. And let's do awesome. this. Yeah, let's eat this let's sacrilege. Eat. Can I get a knife and fork, please? No, you can get a spoon, though. Let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be like butter. You first. Oh, why, thank you. I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is my favorite part right here. Okay, right. Good. That's awesome. You see that like beautiful fat? And it just melts like that fat. Yeah. As soon as you bite into that, that's gonna just melt all over your palate and give you that buttery, you need butter. fatty feel. You know, I've had short ribs so many ways, but obviously this is the first time I've had it with kind of the Indian spice profile. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's timeless cooking and French technique and Indian flavors. This is badmash on a plate. Exactly. It really is. It really is. I agree with that statement. Thanks, guys. Thank it's you. Great. Thank you. You can finish it now. Yeah. No, it's, now you're just gonna camera. eat all the fat. <laughs> Cut the camera. And then drop the rest in. I don't want it sitting on the bottom and sticking to the bottom. Yeah. And you don't wanna like cook too many at one time because you don't want